What's up guys, back with another video. Uh, first off, I know I said I would be bringing you two on feet videos today if uh, you watched my video yesterday. I'm just feeling really under the weather today. Uh, I have a fever, I think I'm getting a cold or whatever. So I'm not really feeling up to that. Uh, I may be bringing you one later today, but uh, I planned this video in particular for Sunday and I thought I would just bring it to you guys today. So this is going to be episode two of my sneaker stories and a lot to you guys were enjoying my first episode. It got a lot of views, pretty popular. That was of course on the LeBron 11 Christmas. So if you guys want to check that out, just search my channel. It should be pretty easy to find. Um, pardon me. <coughs> okay, uh, sorry. Uh, anyway, it should be pretty easy to find, but now I'm going to be bringing you another episode episode two and this is about my first pair of Jordans that I ever bought and uh, yeah actually the first pair of shoes I bought with my own money period so I'm just gonna get them right here uh, here they are here's the box that is uh, I'll show you the tag just a quick little peek there so uh, backstory behind this is I was in band in high school, yeah, lap it up, lap it up, band nerd, whatever. I didn't like band, uh, I was sort of forced into it by my parents, but, uh, like, I like playing my, I played alto saxophone, I liked playing it, I just didn't like band, you know, didn't really, I wasn't really friends with many of the people in band, didn't share the same interests, so it wasn't the best thing in the world, but one highlight of band was that every two years we went on a crazy trip uh, in grade 10, went to Texas, and this last year we went to New York. So uh, that is definitely a highlight of a less than enjoyable class. But anyway, grade 10 music tour, we are in Texas, we're in Dallas, we're at the Dallas Galleria Mall, and me and my friend that I always mention in all my videos, Matt Dick, shout out to you if you're watching, uh, we are walking around this mall, you know, we're looking in stores, looking in the sports memorabilia store, uh, just looking in random stores, and we walk into Finish Line. Now, at this point, grade 10, I know nothing about shoes. I had my Hyperdunk 2011s, a pair of orange Hyperfuses, and that's it, I think. I think that those are the only shoes I had. And, uh, you know, I liked shoes, I just didn't know anything about shoes, if that makes sense. I was into shoes, I didn't know stuff about shoes, though. So, if something looked cool, I had no idea what the name was, if it was hyped or not, uh, what the materials were, anything like that. I just liked how it looked, and I was into shoes. So, we walk into this uh, finish line, and I'm just, uh, like, looking around, you know, seeing what they have. And I look in the Jordan section, and they have these guys right here. I guess I'll pull them out of the box now. Uh, they have these guys right here on sale for a hundred bucks. The Jordan New School. So this is basically just a bread colorway. Uh, sort of might be a bit of a rip off of the Jordan 11, as you guys can see. But uh, basically you just have like patent leather on the toe. Focus on the shoe, not my face, there we go. Uh, patent leather on the toe and on the heel as well. You have Nubuck across the upper. You have an air unit in the back. Uh, just it's a, it's a cool looking shoe. Obviously it's really beat up. But uh, I saw these, I don't know why. Like I don't remember why, but as soon as I saw these, like do you have a size 12 in these? And uh, the guy goes back, looks, and yeah, sure enough, they had a size 12, or I think I asked for a size 12 and a half to start or something like that. And they only had a size 12. And uh, so he goes, gets it, I tried them on, love them. I honestly can't remember why, because it's like, it's just a random black and red shoe. But I thought these things were amazing. And I didn't know anything about Jordans then. So I bought these, I wore them right out of the store. And I was walking around like I had the most amazing shoes on in my life. Here's the receipt from Finish Line. You can see Finish Line. Focus on the receipt, not my face. Finish line, Dallas Galleria. Uh, how much did I pay? I paid a total of $98.41. So yeah, these like, can't beat the price, I guess, 100 bucks. But uh, I wore these right out of the store, thinking I was like the coolest kid ever because I had on my Jordans, not knowing what the heck these even were. Uh, Jordan New Schools uh, is the name, obviously, but I did not know the difference between like a bread 11 and this like in my mind whichever one looked cooler was cooler and that brings me to my overarching point of this video is I hope it can still be that way for people who collect sneakers and know stuff about sneakers 
because lots of times we get so drawn up in the name or the hype of the shoe like oh the Pantone 11 whereas something like this even if we think it looks really cool we feel sort of obligated to like the hype shoes better than this now there are lots of shoes that I like better than this in my collection. Uh, by no means is this one of my favorite shoes anymore. But back when I bought it, I loved this thing and I feel like we need to get back to that point in sneaker collecting where if you see something that you like, just buy it regardless of the hype, right? Don't buy into the hype. Oh, the Columbia 11's releasing this year. Better go get them because they're going to be hyped and they're going to be cool if I wear them to school. I like. Hearing that type of mindset is really like troubling. Uh, just buy what you like, guys. I have lots of people ask me in the comment section, which one is better, the Kobe 8 Milk Snake or the LeBron 11 Hornets? Like, I don't care which one is better. Neither of them are better. They're both different. Buy which one you like better. Buy which one you can afford, because that's really what it comes down to, guys. Buy the shoes that are in your price range, price range that you like. Don't buy into the hype because, you know, I wore these for a year and a half straight. I freaking love these things. Uh, like you can see here, uh, if that will focus, like it's split. The patent leather completely separated from the toe box and I had to glue it back on so it wouldn't like completely tear, tear off. But the glue split on these, I wore them so much, like creasing, no, like no one's business right there. You have like scuffs all over the place outsole is getting worn down but I still love these things uh, and I'm really glad that I picked them up because they sort of helped me get into sneakers as I said this is the first pair of sneakers I spent my own money on before that I only had two pairs of shoes and they were for basketball uh, so I wasn't really wearing them casually and uh, my parents bought me those but this is the first pair of casual shoes I bought with my own money I'm really glad I did and just looking at types of shoes like this like the Hyperdunk 2011 like this like the Air Vandals, were the Air Vandals behind me, the Air Max 90s, the Kobe 7 Yin Yangs, all those shoes that I bought early in my collecting phase, like, that sounds weird, early in my collecting, my time of collecting sneakers, there, we'll word it that way, early in my time of collecting sneakers that had absolutely no hype, but I did not know the difference, and I like them just the same, I still do like them, so overarching point of this video, guys, is buy random Jordans if you like them. Don't worry about if people are going to judge you or whatever, because if they're going to judge you, that's their problem, right? Just uh, don't worry about what other people say. Buy your Fusion Jordans, because if you like them, that's what matters. I like these. I bought these. Wore them for a year and a half. And I buy a whole bunch of other crap that people think is absolutely ugly. Like, I bought Star Wars Vans. I have shoes that are made to look beat up, and I paid a hundred bucks for them. I have pink shoes, I have purple shoes, and I like them, I really don't care what other people think about them because they're on my feet. So overarching point of this video, as I said, is just wear what you like, buy your Fusion Jordans. I'm not telling you to buy these specifically, but buy whatever you like regardless of hype. If it's on the sale rack, even better if you like it because if you can save a few bucks buying a kick that you like and get some enjoyment out of it, that's really what sneaker collecting is all about, not about getting hyped in limited shoes. So hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you did. Just sort of a mini rant. I guess I went off on a tangent there, but I'll be back tomorrow with another video, possibly tonight with an on feet if I'm feeling up to it. But uh, hit that like button if you haven't already, as I said. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for new sneaker videos every day. And I'll be seeing you guys soon with a new video. So until then, peace.